Do you two own anything matching? No, nothing at all. <laughs> So the first question is, what is your partner's name? So what's your partner's name? <laughs> well, mine's Ren. What's your name? What's your partner's name? Show. So it's like TV show, but it's spelled S-H-O-U. We'll write that on the screen. <laughs> in case you want to write it in the comments. <laughs> so is your partner your caretaker or nurse? Are you my nurse? Depends when you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not her nurse. Um, I don't know. I guess you could consider me a caretaker in some ways. Mm, but I take care of you. Yeah, but wouldn't you do that with any partner? Yeah, but you yeah. also take care of me. That's true. Mm. But he's not my official caretaker or nurse or anything. Um, I actually don't need a caretaker. I lived independently in college for four years without any assistance. Um, I mean, it's always nice to have somebody to reach something up high, but mm. overall, I'm very independent. I drive on my own, I shower on my own, I do everything by myself. So, it's just nice to have extra support, and of course, if you know, something were to happen where you know, I needed assistance, it is nice to have somebody here helping, but you're not paid to be here, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, number three is, how did we meet? How did we meet? So, an ad in the newspaper. Technically, we found each other on the internet. Even better. Even better. You had to actually put in an application, I believe, right? Yeah. You had to process it. Yeah, it took a few days. <laughs> so it was a website, it's a spiritual dating website that allows you to, I guess, express what you're really looking for on a deeper level. And <laughs> she had this entire profile written out. Like, it's like an essay. Like an essay, yeah. And it was perfect because it had every single thing that I wanted to cover. And I was like, this is amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. So I spent 20 bucks just to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I invested in her. Yeah. I didn't know that until later that you invested 20 bucks. It's like, yeah, this website, you have to pay money to like talk to people. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I hadn't reached out to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. And then I saw your stuff, and his message was very punny. There's puns everywhere. Puns. Punny everywhere. Yeah, that was my test. If you didn't respond well to, yeah. to the puns, like, yeah. Like, yeah, at first I was a little like, whoa, this guy's a new. See, like you were interviewing me, but I was also interviewing you. Yeah. yeah. But you were like, his message was beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh. I clicked on his stuff. I'm like, who is this being? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Together. <laughs> So number four, describe each other in one word. So I'll go first. Mm. I would say compassionate. Mm. I feel like that embodies you like in every aspect of your life, you know? Compassion is, is the lens that you see life through and really why I fell in love with you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> For you, the first word that comes to mind is quirky. Like, which I absolutely love. What do you mean? <laughs> all you have to do is like watch all my videos and you'll yeah, yeah, know. Uh, refer to video one at the end. <laughs> Bloopers. Any of them. What do you mean? It's like. Day of the life. Have a ziba da ba dee ba Timi ni ma. Honi ma. Yeah, no, I love it. Like, yeah, quirky. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I, like, I get bored with normal people. And they're like, you keep things super interesting. You make me feel normal, so... Or at least, <laughs> you know, feel good about not being normal. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, quirky. That helps. Yeah. 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 Keeps it exciting. Question number five. 
When we first met and began dating, did you have any concerns about what caring for you would involve? Hmm. So, actually no, like I didn't really have any concerns or worries when we first met, because I really had no idea what it meant. <laughs> like, I guess I kind of like realized what it meant when we like started dating longer. Mm -hmm. You know, like figured that, oh, okay, so it's, it's easier for me if I cook like the meals or if yeah, you know, I, can I still prepare cook. things yeah. because it's just, you know, it's, it's so much easier for me to do those things. Yeah, um, but we like to cook together. I think yeah. the point is like it is a lot of work to cook, especially when you have to keep standing up, sitting down, and like you know trying to reach things, and it can become very exhausting for me. But instead, you know, we have things that we enjoy. I like to clean. Yeah, she doesn't clean. I'm, I'm the clean freak around here, so you know I'm always vacuuming, always yeah. wiping things down. So you know I do the laundry, fold laundry, and I'm very particular about how it's yeah. folded, you know stuff like that. But ultimately, you're a great cook and. Mm. You know, we love to cook together. Yeah, like, I'm thinking now, like, if there was anything, I do remember, like, wondering, like, if it would be a little bit more work. I didn't know exactly what your needs were, so that's the thing <laughs> I didn't know. So, like, there wasn't concerns, but there was just, like, a general, like, oh, well, like, what did I require? Wonder, like, yeah. would I have to take care of her more? Like, I, I didn't know. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I'd say most of all, it just kind of, like, came, you know, to the surface, like, the more closer we got and the more we spent time together. But, yeah. I'm also the uh, grammar queen over here, so <laughs> that was your concern from the beginning. Question wasn't it? number six: <laughs> Do you two own anything matching? No, nothing. At all. <laughs> Hold on, seven. we gotta explain what these are, though. So I was like, we we never owned anything that matched, but then when we came to this new apartment complex. They like, gave us these matching shirts and like it's the only thing that we we own that matches. We're not really the type, right? No, like no. we have our own style or I don't know, we don't really feel the need to look like we're out in public and like if I were to get lost and be like, oh excuse me, you got this girl in a wheelchair, she has the same shirt as you like because some people assume that like I'm 12 years old, so they probably think we wear these so I don't get lost. Be very awkward. So that's probably why we haven't worn them on public. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little much, but you know, it's a nice shirt. But we wear them on like different days. I don't think we've ever accidentally worn them on the same day. Yeah, and then when one of them is like in the washer, we have no idea whose it is unless you know, <laughs> you know, who, like wore the yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. Did you wear this this week? And yeah. it's like, um, because it's the same size. They gave us the same yeah, size and same everything. Size. Yeah. Or, it's just a little too weird when you're. Out and about, and you're like, power couple! It's like, give it power, give it power! <laughs> okay, questions up. What were your first impressions of me? So, I guess my first impressions were like, uh, well, you responded well to my messages. You know, which they were deep. You gave them a chance, that's pretty much yeah. what you're saying here. Yeah. Yeah. What no, what no. <laughs> Your question like my questions to you were deep, like when I reached out to you. Yeah. So like and you responded to those and it seemed like you really enjoyed those topics and then you expressed more interest yeah. about that stuff as well. So my first impressions were like, oh, okay, deep thinker, you know, open minded, um, unconventional. Mm -hmm. Um that there was something worth going deeper with. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and my first impressions of you. Um, let's see. I thought you were quirky as well because of the puns. I mean, I was like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> funny guy. You know, I was like, you're a little comedian. And I also saw that you were also a deep thinker. Like the types of questions where I was like, wow, what a way to start out. And I like love that confidence that people aren't afraid to ask deep questions. Mm -hmm. And that meant a lot, you know, I was like, whoa. And that's what set you apart. I was like, oh my goodness. And, and he also wrote me an essay back. I mean, like, I appreciate that. So people were saying, Hey, you like wrote me like <laughs> the things oh, that you yeah. enjoyed about my profile. You know, you express the things that you're interested in and, and what we both might enjoy and, and mm -hmm. just kind of inquire more about my life. And you know, that felt really nice. And um, yeah, I actually enjoyed reading the essays. I remember telling you that. Like, yeah, we yeah. both got giddy every time we sent like a message because yeah, like a book. Yeah, they were like like what, and we would like wait for each other. Like you know, we'd see that they had seen the message, but yeah. then we were like waiting on this response and. 
Uh, like we always knew that the other person was going to respond. Like there wasn't any point that I thought like, he goes to me, you know, type of thing. And then finally we like moved it over to the, like Facebook. Yeah. And that's when I really got to see like your profile and all that. And I was like, oh my goodness. But I, I think from the beginning I always thought you were like a nerd. I was like, this guy probably likes research, probably likes video games. Like, I don't know. I just got this <laughs> Like this nerd vibe, you know? It wasn't like you were this like avid hiker out in the mm. Appalachian Mountains or something, no. you know? But I just, and I could also tell you were very compassionate though. And probably spiritual. That was another thing. Like, mm. I don't know the things that you just expressed. We had a lot in common in that realm as well. That was pretty cool. Mm. So, yeah. How old are we? How old are we? How old are I have the question, how young are you? <laughs> like, don't know. <laughs> it's because you just celebrated your birthday, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you're a little old, no, right? No, not at all. Okay, sure. Well, I'm 12. And I'm 3. Together we are 15. No. But seriously, <laughs> yeah, I look 12, 15 possibly, but I'm actually 23 years old. And I'm 27. Well, you just turned 27. Yeah. So normally we're three years apart, but right now we're four years apart. Mm -hmm. So we're three and a half years apart, always. Oh. I know, but when, when you say to somebody, hey, I'm 26 and she's uh, 23, it's like they automatically just think you're three years apart. They're not counting the halves, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I'm dating an old man. I know. If you think 27 is old, you're really old in four years. Three and a half. Three and a half. As an interabled couple, do you feel like we miss out on anything compared to non disabled couples? So I wouldn't say we miss out on anything. I would just say that things can be a little more challenging sometimes. A little more. Like if we want to, you know, go hiking or yeah. go to the beach, you know, it's a little more difficult. Yeah. We had to think a little, we had to plan and be a little more creative about things like that, but. Yeah, I, I agree that like even traveling, like if we, if we wanted to take an airplane or something, yeah. we, I would probably call ahead, make sure that everything's all set, that, you know, we're going to be accommodated. I think that's mostly it. Yeah. Like there's just more accommodation necessary um, for us just to ensure that it, it goes well. Like we don't yeah. want to surprise anybody, but at the same time, they also should be prepared. You know, we live yeah. in a society where unfortunately it's like, it should just be normalized, you know, where it's like, I shouldn't have to call ahead for, to make sure yeah, that that the airport, you know, is, like is able to accommodate. An apartment, like, finding apartments can be a little difficult, like, we were very fortunate with this one. It yeah. Completely they even kind of advertised the whole wheelchair accessibility thing, which I appreciated, um, but it was, it was nice to actually find something, because it doesn't matter which part of the complex you go to, you know, by law, they don't technically need to have wheelchair accessible apartments. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, it doesn't. So yeah. um, it was great to find this one, like first floor apartment. Every I could get into the bathroom, that was huge. Yeah, very wide. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't say you missed out anything. Though. Yeah, it's just more like. Yeah, just preparation more so. Is something accessible? Yeah, this might be. Yeah, and even if it's not, what's great is you are a little strong dude there, and you're like, ah, carries. Me. You know, you could carry me, or yeah. I could. You know, if all else failed, you know, I'm lucky enough that with with a, a lot of assistance, I could you know, get up a flight of stairs. I mean, it would be exhausting and not fun, but if I had to, absolutely, you know, in an emergency situation, we could, you know. So, you know, if something isn't wheelchair accessible, we're lucky enough that you could carry me or we could ask somebody for assistance, you know. Can you grab the front of the wheelchair? A lot of people are willing to help, which yeah. is great. So I think it's just thinking ahead about things. Other than that, I don't think there's anything really... You're missing out on? No. And last question, which celebrity do you most often get compared to? So I'm gonna answer this for you. Okay. So like, Kristen Stewart, she could play <laughs> Bella on Twilight. But it depends, like if you watch my videos, like, there's just moments where I'm just like, God, I don't like Bella. You know, it's just weird because I'm not the biggest fan of her. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I get irked by her. And then people are like, wow, you don't like Kristen Stewart. I'm like, please stop. All of the Christmas to advance just stopped watching the video. <laughs> Probably, but you know, I'll try to make one of her faces. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well the other one I get mistaken for 
or people at least tell me I look somewhat like it. It's like a young Ashley Judd. And I know you probably don't know who that is. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, someone said that to me, and it's like, it's yeah, you look like Maybe you look like, like a young Ashley Judd, and I was like, thank you. Mm. I like looked her up. I was like, yeah, I actually do. She has like a roundish face, you know. It's just we do look somewhat similar. And she, now she's like 52 or something, so mm. it's a little old to compare. But yeah, you know, that's what we're gonna look like. So what do you think? Um, I, <laughs> I think he's like a mix between like an Orlando Bloom meets like Legolas. Um, that was Orlando I know! <laughs> so Orlando Bloom. Yeah, so Orlando Bloom but playing Legolas. So Legolas. Oh yeah, so Legolas. Okay. Yeah. I have like, shade for that. Yeah, exactly. But when when you do have like it fully like fully shaved off there, you know, you grow out your hair super long like mm -hmm. legless man. But then when you're not, then you just look like Orlando Bloom, like he just like dyed his hair blonde and you know. So I'd say yep. like that. And that's you're not the only one that said that, like there's a lot of people in my life who always said that. Yeah. So Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Cutie! Thank you guys for joining us for part one. We have a part two coming out soon. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> we have a part two coming out soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We hope you enjoyed and Take have a care. nice day. <laughs> yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. Shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs>